My name's James Golding. I'm the group chef director for the Pig Hotels. Um, yeah, so our menu changes every week. So okay. we're driven by the seasons and by our wall kitchen garden and by the forager. So basically, our menu could change every day or you know whenever the stuff's coming up. So yeah, we've got loads of exciting menu changes. The garden's going crazy at the moment with <laughs> springtime. So we've got lots of you know shoots coming through, lots of asparagus, broad bean flowers are on the menu at the moment. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the joy of, of being able to operate a place like ours, is that there's lots of exciting stuff every day. I became a chef because uh, we were always a very foodie family. So, you know, my mother's Italian and we used to make pasta. And, you know, when we were kids, we were never allowed to play on our Sega Mega Drives until we would help with the cooking. And, and I remember my dad took me to uh, a Bournemouth College uh, open evening one week. And, and I just remember going there and seeing the chefs all standing there, you know, with the big tall hats and their long white aprons and that's when chefs used to wear those back in the day and just thinking you know I think I think I could do that and yeah. I think you know we're very lucky as chefs if you enjoy what you do and and you know it's part of your sort of day-to-day -day life then it's not really a job it's just you know it's fun and, and that's that's why I think if you love cooking then it's it's the way to go patience <laughs> uh, I think I think you have to have a good work ethic you have to have real drive you have to be focused I think you know you can't be shy to, to, to get really involved I think passion you know creativity everything that, that you know an artist needs to say uh, you know to a certain extent but but you need to be very open-minded and, and try everything that you're cooking because uh, a good chef's only as good as his last dish and at the end of the day you know that dish has to be perfect every time and consistency is a big thing as well Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm very lucky in my job at the moment because we've got um, six hotels now and all of my uh, head chefs are all my original sous chefs. So the best part of my job is going around to all the pigs, trying all the food that they're producing and, and just seeing you know, the creativity that's coming out of all the kitchen. So I'm very, very lucky to be able to work with the guys who, who I first started you know, the, the, the kitchens with, but at the same time you know, still be a part of that creative process and, and still understand you know, the dishes that they're bringing out, so that's, that's the best part, I think. As we were talking outside, yeah. I used to be a lifeguard on the beach down oh, really? at Southport <laughs> when I was a teenager. So I used to be like this uh, uh, surfer, sort of beach bum lifeguard sort of guy, and then um, I jacked the surfboard in for a set of knives and moved to London and became a chef. So that's, history, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 I'd keep bumping into people, like old friends, like, oh, what happens to that? You've got a moustache, where did that go? <laughs> Can I do two? Yeah, sure. So, so the first one, I did the Oscar party in LA uh, back, in, back in 2005. That was really cool when I was head chef at Soho House, New York. And then the second one was um, the pig and myself. We did the food at the Katie Awards at Grosvenor House a couple of years ago. And um, it was for the Oscars of the industry. Yeah. And, and we grew nearly everything that went on that menu for 1,350 people at Grosvenor House, Impressive. cooking for the great <laughs> and good of, of, of our industry. 